Hello friends, today we're going to be doing a couple of quick, easy DIY projects. The first one's going to be a massage oil. When you give or get a massage, it uh, can be the skin on skin rubbing and that would cause friction and it wouldn't be very comfortable. So if you have massage oil, that will give you um, a smooth, comfortable, enjoyable massage. Now this is very easy. All it takes is two ingredients, a carrier oil and a fragrance oil. Let's get started, shall we? Hi, I'm Sherry and this is Buddy, the top dog of Lucky Dog Creations. To start off with, you'll need a four ounce glass jar with the pump. The pump is important so you can go ahead and just squirt it onto your hands rub them together and then go ahead and give the massage. Then you'll need some sort of carrier oil. There are different oils out there. There are grapeseed oil, olive oil, sunflower oil. I chose the sunflower oil for a few reasons. The first being that it is a thicker oil than most carrier oils and when you're given a massage you're going to want it a little bit thicker so it can stay on the body as you rub it in. The second thing is that it is good for your skin. It is gentle. It absorbs into the skin very easily and smoothly and gives you a nice smooth feeling. And the most important to me would be it has no smell. That way when you add your fragrance it's not going to clash. All you'll be able to smell will be the fragrance and that's to me very important. So let's get started. I have this little funnel. It's not the best funnel. Uh, I ordered some other ones but they're not here yet. Luckily it's a silicone one and I can just kind of squish it in the jar. And you're gonna want to fill the jar up three-fourths of the way so it makes room for the pump. You don't want it overflowing. So I have a little measuring glass here. Since this is four ounces, I'm going to go ahead and put three ounces into this jar. And this is marked that a full one is an ounce. And just dump that in there. Second ounce coming up. And the last. You could probably add a little bit more, as you've seen from my first one that I've done. It has a little bit of room, but I'd rather be safe than sorry. Now that one filled up a little bit more, I don't know why, but it still has plenty of room for the pump. And then you take your fragrance oil or essential oil, whatever you want to use. This is a green bamboo. I think that would be perfect for a massage. The other one that I done was a lily, you know, for the females. This could be for anybody. It has a neutral smell to it. And then you want to put in 10 to 15 drops. I did 15 drops. And there we have it. 
just two ingredients. We'll have to let this sit for 10 minutes so they can fully incorporate together. And then we'll go ahead and put the pump on and give it a try. I'll see you in 10 minutes. It has been 10 minutes and we have them ready to mix. Go ahead and just stick your little pump thing in there. And I might have gotten it a little bit full. No, it's gonna work there. All right, I twisted the top up so it is open. I'll shake it all up to incorporate the two different oils. And then I'm going to go ahead and put my label on so I know what scent it is. And the ingredients. And then you can use this yourself or you can go ahead and give it as a gift Anybody that likes massages, this would be perfect for them so they don't have that friction of skin on skin. I forgot to show you what it looked like. And then you just rub it together. And of course it's going to be oily because it is oil based. And then you can go ahead and just do the massage. And my skin feels nice and smooth as well, and it smells really good. I totally recommend this if you're going to go ahead and do massages. Not only will it help the friction, but it also will feel good and smell good. thing I also need to mention is the allergy test. You may be allergic to the oil or you may be allergic to the scent. So what you can do is you can take your massage oil and put a little bit on a band-aid and then put it on your skin and leave it for 48 hours. And then after the 48 hours you take it off if it's not red, itchy, spotted, um, then you're not allergic to it and then you can go ahead and use it as your massage oil. Are you tired of waiting for a good beard oil? Don't wait as long as Edgar did because now we have one, an easy do-it-yourself. Now for the next DIY project that we are going to do today and that is we're going to make beard oil. And this is good for anybody that has a beard um, you have oil in your skin, but when you grow a beard and it goes down, then the oil tends to also take care of the beard. And so it leaves your skin not as moisturized or soft and it can be itchy. So with this beard oil, it's mainly for the skin underneath your beard. And it's really easy to do. It is just like the massage oil, except for that we are going to be using a different carrier oil. Now you can use sunflower oil, you can use extra virgin olive oil, you can use grapeseed oil, you can use coconut oil. There's a lot of carrier oils that you can use. I am going to be using the grapeseed oil it is a lot better for that part of the skin versus the rest of your body. The virgin olive oil had a smell to it. So we're gonna go ahead and use the grapeseed oil. I have my one ounce glass bottle. I have my little funnel, because I am not very good at pouring. And I have a tablespoon. So we're going to use two tablespoons of grapeseed oil. And hopefully I won't make a big mess. And 
and that is one tablespoon. We'll do another tablespoon. And I don't know if you can see, since it is an amber color, the liquid is only up to here. I'm assuming it's going to be like the massage oil. You don't want it to be too full, but I am going to add just a little bit, probably about a half as much, because it's not going to have a pump. It's just going to have a dropper in that. So I am going to add... about two and a half tablespoons of grapeseed oil. And now the oil is about to there. So we have about that much. And the next thing you're gonna do is you're gonna add five to 10 drops of your scent soap fragrance, fragrance oil, or essential oil. And I am going to use Egyptian musk essential oil. And I'm going to use probably 10 drops. I'll give it a couple of extra ones. Well, maybe just because we added a, a little bit extra carrier oil. And then you want to go ahead and smell it and see if it's a strong enough smell. If you want it stronger, you can add more. If you don't want it as strong, don't add as many. And then I'm just going to add the dropper lid and shake it up and then I'm going to take the dropper lid off and let it incorporate for about 10 minutes like we did with the uh, massage oil and I will be back in just a little bit okay so I'm going to show you how you use it on a beard I don't have a beard so Edgar decided he would come in and join us and help us out. So what you want to do is you just take your little dropper, put it in the bottle, put a little bit on your hand. It will be like anywhere from the size of a nickel to a quarter, depending on how big a beard you have. And then you just rub it all together like this. And I'm gonna wipe it off because I'm not really going to get up on his fake beard there. But you go up under your beard and you start to massage under the beard. That way it'll get the dry skin. And then after you do that, then you can go ahead and go through and comb through your beard from the underside then you can go like this with whatever is left. And then your skin will feel soft and smooth and your beard will smell good and it'll also be more manageable and it'll also uh, feel nice and smooth. If you like this video, please subscribe. Hit the bell so you can get notifications of my future videos. Thumbs up, thumbs down. Comments and suggestions are all welcome. Thank you, and I'll see you next time.